Keith Grinke from Top of My News here with AFC Bantamweight Champion Curtis Brigham. We just saw a fight between, you know, two really technical, you know, great athletes here, Bantamweight athletes, yourself and Mike Adams. You know, talk about the fight. Uh, you know, if you saw the fight, then uh, you'll be able to know more about than I did. It was, it was a hard fight. It was a great fight. I felt uh, the best I ever have. 135 is my home. There's no doubt. I made, I made the cut easy. I felt strong. Uh, and Mike Adams is an awesome opponent. We just we blended really well, I think. And uh, I can't wait to see the fight myself, so I can talk with more uh, authority on it. But it, it felt great. I think it was good, good and back and forth, and uh, I hope it was exciting. Yeah, you, you, a lot of back and forth. You know, clinching, uh, grappling against the cage. Um, it seemed like Mike Mike was uh, using his kicks a lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your game plan going in? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, the, Sorry, and the size as well. Like there was a tremendous size advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, although he was thick, his oh. legs were thick. Like, I, I had reach on him, but he is uh, crazy flexible. I, I know he's got some crazy spinning heel kicks. Um, so you, even though I had the range standing, I knew he could cover a lot of distance and, and do some damage. So you know, I was a bit. I felt like I'd stand with him, but I was a bit nervous because he had some unorthodox and some really explosive attacks. So. You know, game plan wise, uh, I didn't really, I, I kind of wanted to see what was going to happen. If I could hit my, you know, jab a lot or hit my hooks, that's great. But, um, you know, I just, uh, the clinch felt good after the first round. I felt like I was strong in it and it wasn't really hurting me in it. So I figured I'd just keep trying to wear him out a bit. And I figured I'd try to take it to a later round. I, I didn't want to come out really hard. Yeah, and I thought the clinch would be a bad spot for you because because the strength is managed. Like the guy's a small soldier, right? Yeah. And, and clearly yeah, he, you held your own. He had some power on me, maybe, but uh, I, I, I like my clinch. I, I feel comfortable in it. And I felt like, especially for the first round, I wanted to try to chew up some energy of his, just, just putting some pressure on. And the ground was a dangerous spot for him. Uh, you had a couple of armbar attempts. You locked up a shoulder, I think, in the third round, almost the entire round. Um, uh, my nightmare. Uh, you know, I, I can tap almost everybody I ever roll with a plain old smother. I know it sounds funny, but it works. And I was doing my damnedest to make it work. And he kept, you know, I think it might have slowed him down a bit because, I mean, when you're tired, a little bit of interference in the breathing, really. But he kept pulling it off, and, you know, He's got some power on him, so it was hard to really control in there. Yeah, and talk about my the elbows fight. hurting from uh, from dropping elbow shots. You, know, right you were you were you know, riding his back there and uh, dominating that third round. Um, talk about the, the the win, like the the final submission, the armbar. Um, how did that set up? I don't remember. You don't remember? Sorry. Yeah. No. I, you know, I'm not rocking the fight at all. But it, there was some adrenaline going. I was tired. I was I on top? I think. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what? You know, I don't even know anymore. Let me watch there, you, had several, you had it several times. Uh, right, right. And I, I do remember uh, the armbar in the end. You know, he, he, it, was, it was deep, but he was just in hard. I, pu I put my all into it, and he still wasn't tapping, and I had to readjust a bit. And uh, uh, a lot, uh, <laughs> thank my cornerman, Corey Coles. I had deja vu to my very first professional fight against Justin James. I hit an armbar, and I was putting everything into it. And uh, my cornerman was yelling, break it. And I just gave it. Everything, because it was there, you know, I, I knew I could finish it. And again, I heard it, I heard it clear as day, and uh, I, I put my all into it. I really wanted to finish this fight. I didn't want to go to precision. Yeah, that, that's awesome. So, sorry, yeah. I gotta put this down. This is heavy, yeah. AFC, thank you. This is a legit so battle. How does it, it feel? Is, how does it feel to be a champion? Uh, you know what, I, I was, from the second the fight was over, I was almost crying, the whole, uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, as soon as the fight was over, my hometown, I, I my my friends and family, my team, there's nothing. That was my 20th fight, by the way. Uh, officially, I mean, you know, my records or whatever it is now, you know, 12 and 5 room. But you know, all in all, including my amateur ones early on. Whoa. Um, yeah, it was my 20th fight, and it was my favorite fight to date. There, there's no, uh, there's no fight I'm more proud of. There's no fight that made me feel better. Yeah, you know, and you're very emotional after the fight. You, you can tell it meant a lot to you. Oh yeah. Now we talked to uh, David Leah. Um, Toshito MMA's uh, uh, coach and awesome guy, awesome gym. I, I love those guys. I hope someday I can uh, road trip out there and visit them. Uh, they're, a, they're a legit team, and that made this fight all the, all the better. Yeah, and and yeah, legit guy with Mike Adams, and that's his coach. And he was saying that Mike Adams, you know, maybe he was going to hit the UFC after after uh, I, if he I read beat that. you. Yeah, yeah. So so what do you think? Twelve and five, two wins since you've come back. You know, after an eight year absence, UFC Winnipeg, June fifteenth here. Is that a good matchup for you? Uh, hey. I would do it by all means, you know, Sean Shelby, if you ever watch this, man, I'd be in it. But I don't want to be presumptuous. There's a lot of guys out there deserving. Uh, Louis Fissette from Wama is six and you know, six fight win streak, he's six and one. Uh, he finished his guys dominantly. If he got in and I didn't, I would be still delighted. Hey, yeah. but you know what? Uh, UFC, whenever they're ready, if they want to call me, we're here, of course. Well, they know, know that. Talk about your team. They went, what, five and oh today? Yeah. Like, man, you swept what a night. it all, and I think. Almost everybody got a submission tonight. 
Um, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 it's so stressful being in the warm-up room, watching all my students and you know my teammates fighting first, and you know not being in their corners and seeing it happen. But uh, yeah, it was, it was great. You know, uh, how, how do you go? Uh, Mars, Dwight, uh, Milko, and Louie. Everybody looked. Yeah, great. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, and of course, you know, you're a thief too because you stole Louis title shots. I away know. From, I think it was the shortest title shot ever given to somebody. Um, he was, you know, number one contender after his win, and now, you know, uh, you he's know, not going to fight you, obviously. Why, why me and why not Louis? I, I think the AFC could have gone either way. Uh, I thank AFC for it, and, you know, uh, Louis got big things coming. He's, you know, whether we, you know, whether he gets called from Bellator or, you know, AFC's treating us so well that I'm sure they'll give him some good fights. And I, I think Louis the one with uh, the longer future than me. I'm, I'm happy to be on this horse for now, but in the end, you know, there's only young, awesome guys in my gym that I'm just glad I got back in for, you know, at least a couple fights. Always the humble coach. Any, uh, any, uh, one you like to thank here? Uh, I, I gotta say thanks to the UFC, uh, the AFC with uh, you know Darren's great to work with. Steve Fader, Assassin Fight Gear, my first sponsor ever. I've never had one before. Uh, thanks so much. That, that feels so great. <laughs> All right, so you know, you know, I, I'm not sure what's next for you. You know, maybe AFC in the fall, um, maybe UFC in in the summer. Um, wherever you are, I'm gonna be watching. You know, thank you for your time. Congratulations, AFC Badgeweight Champion Curtis Brigham. Thank you much. Thanks for your attention.